Hey there YouTuber, so previously had the Ryzen 7 5800X in a B450 motherboard. Whatever reason, I never got around to putting it into uh, my B550. Uh, the X570 recently died, so that's not an option. So we are going to try to get it to work here in this motherboard. Now, one thing you got to do before you do these kind of... Uh, BIOS updates, just kind of check what uh, you're getting, right? So F2, if I were to go look at Gigabyte's website for this motherboard, it would tell me that F10 is the revision that is going to work uh, with Ryzen 5000 CPUs. Hence, I can't get beyond this, site, this screen. It won't boot into Windows and uh, so it's unfortunate, but we're going to go uh, download the BIOS update file and I'll show you how to update it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go to, uh, in this case, Gigabyte. And I'm trying to type left-handed while I do this. But you're going to type in basically that and guess what I don't have to type the whole thing in because there it is so now we want to go to their site and we back up a little bit there's a couple places on here where you'll see support usually uh, they must update their site we want this support right here and then we'll come over here and one thing you'll want to do is uh, go ahead and check out CPU support. A lot of times they'll give you the revision that matches up with the CPU you're trying to put in. And for whatever reason, it's not doing anything. Let's try refreshing. Here we go. So, 5950 F10. 3950X F1. And some people had asked me, hey, uh, you know, what motherboard can you use your 4500G on? I think that was the question. Here are some 4000 GPUs that uh, work right off the bat, actually. Well, maybe not off the bat. They're, uh, they're F2s. So, newer CPU, the R5 5600 is F14. I have a 5300G. And then here's the 4500 F14. So, a lot of these are newer BIOS updates, and you will have to get the BIOS update before you run it. Now, where is the 5800X, folks? There it is. There's our 5800X, and... There's a 5800X 3D F10. So that's what we want. All right. Now, let's go to Downloads. And we'll click on over here, BIOS. And what I always like to do, folks, is come over here and read exactly what you're getting, okay? So we'll see when we get to F10. There's support there for Ryzen 5000. Performance optimized with F12, um, 5000G, and some of the other ones, okay? I'm actually, in this case, I would download the most recent, but uh, I want to make a better video of this later. So, we're just going to download F12. Yeah. No, sorry. Let's do F13 since I eventually might put this one in here. So we'll click download, and then you'll see it go here. It's a zip file. So we're going to have to extract all. And we'll take this file, copy it to our thumb drive, drop that in there, OK? So a lot of times it's better to not have so many files on here, maybe even 
to be honest with you. It'd be better if you had an empty thumb drive and just this file. Um, so we're going to uh, take this and put it into the other computer and uh, do a BIOS update. So yeah, I was a little frustrating sitting there wondering what is going on? Why isn't this thing working? Um, you know, somebody like myself, I should know better. But uh, we did. We went and looked at the uh, the BIOS to see which one was which to get it to work. So we're going to go to uh, QFlash. And uh, there's easy mode and advanced mode. I'm in easy mode. And then I'm going to QFlash. I'm going to click over here on BIOS update. And then, of course, it is on the wrong drive. So we're going to come down here find the right drive should be this one I imagine yep there it is there's our file we'll click on it we'll come over here and click on this are you sure you want to update the BIOS yes and then we'll just step away actually it says press start so now it's updating the BIOS. So at this point, step away. And I'm going to pause this till we get closer to 100%. All right, folks, so it is almost there. This is uh, actually one of the slower BIOSes to update. Sometimes these things are pretty quick. Had I recorded this the whole time, this video would end up being a lot longer, which some of the BIOS update videos I do, you'll, you'll see that I record the whole thing from beginning to end in the improved version of this which I'll do later uh, you will see that so 96 97 98 99 and it's gonna reboot a few times so one thing we didn't talk about was this thing may reset the RAM if you had it overclocked say XMP on you may find that you have to turn that back on and the other thing is your boot drive may end up getting uh, changed um, so if you have multiple drives that might be a problem but uh, in my case I don't have a drive in here so we can't demonstrate how to fix that problem um, so here we go it's booting up at least I don't think I have a drive in here I might have a drive in here yeah actually I think I do have a drive in here Alright folks, so we're in Windows, so it worked. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.